Okay, so I'm going to do this sample problem, uh, this number six and seven on here as examples of, um, of stoichiometry with heat. Uh, so this is thermal chemical equations um, and a bit of stoichiometry built into this. Uh, how do I know this somewhat stoichiometry or one of these kind of problems? One, notice I have a balanced chemical equation here. Actually, maybe I should read this question first. It says, a com the combustion of butane, and C4H10 is butane, uh, produces heat according to the equation. And this equation says that 2 moles of butane and 13 moles of oxygen makes 8 moles of carbon dioxide and 10 moles of water. It gives off 1,513 kilojoules of heat. I know it says per mole. Some of... Uh, uh, when it says per mole, that's not necessarily per mole of butane. That's for every two moles of butane, 13 moles of oxygen, eight moles of carbon dioxide, and 10 moles of water. So even though it says here per mole, that's not for one mole. It's really for two moles of this, 13 moles of that, eight moles of carbon dioxide, 10 moles of water. So that's uh, some other books don't even write the kilojoules per mole. They just write per kilojoule. So uh, you'll see in some equations in the textbook, you'll see it as written as kilojoules per mole or just kilojoules. But that is either way, whether it's written per mole, it's for every two moles of this butane, 13 moles of oxygen, eight moles of carbon dioxide, 10 moles of water. Remember, these are balanced equations. It's already balanced, are in moles, 2, 13, 8, 10. All right, so what does the question actually ask? This question asks, what is a heat of combustion per, uh, per gram of butane? So in other words, it's saying if you had one gram of butane, C4H10 is butane, how much heat is given off? It's kind of asking that. If you have one gram, that's a one. If you have one gram of butane, C4H10, how much heat will be given off? All I know from this balance equation is two moles of butane gives off 5,314 kilojoules. First of all, I also know it's giving off heat because negative, negative exothermic, it releases heat. Also, combustion is another word for is burning, okay? So burning anything, of course, produces heat. So negative exothermic, it gives off heat. So I don't actually, the negative is not so important in this case. It just tells us that it gives off heat. Okay, so another thing, oh, how do I know C4H10 is butane? Well, first of all, just almost even if you didn't know, process elimination, that's obviously oxygen. I know that's carbon dioxide, CO2, that's water. It's not those three, so obviously the quote, weird one, the one you don't recognize, that would be butane. So how do I do this problem? All I know from this balance equation, actually I'm going to write it down, is that two moles, two moles of C4H10, gives off 5,314 kilojoules of heat, okay? That's all I know from this balanced equation. Now, okay, so I know that. Oh, well, what about the negative sign? I don't really need to write negative. Actually, fine, I'll put the negative sign in, but it's not really necessary because we know it gives off heat. The negative just means this exothermic gives off heat. I'll put it in, but technically, you know what? I'm gonna leave it out or I'll just put a plus sign instead. Uh, it just tells us the negative only means it's exothermic, it gives off heat. So I can change moles to kilojoules. And that's kind of what I want to find. So, um, well, if I know how to change moles to kilojoules, okay, moles to kilojoules, well, I have grams currently. The only thing I need to do is change grams to moles. And that's why I also put the review problem uh, on how to change grams to moles as one of these, uh, as a review that you should remember how to change grams to moles or moles to grams. How do I change grams to moles or moles to grams? We need to find the molar mass, the molar mass of C4H10. How much does one mole of butane, C4H10, that's H10, weigh in grams. Well, the molar mass of C4H10 would be the molar mass of four carbons and 10 hydrogens. 
you'd have to look up that on the periodic table. So that's really four carbons and 10 hydrogens. What is that on the periodic table? Well, look up carbon. Carbon is 12.01. I'm rounding. Hydrogen is 1.01. So grams. So whatever that adds up onto on a calculator. Where again did a 12.01 and 1.01 come from? You look up the molar mass of carbon on a periodic table, 12.01. I'm rounding as 12.0115 or something like that. And hydrogen on the periodic table, 1.01. Uh, more stake fix will be, I think, 1.00794 or something like that. So add that up. Four times, what is it, 12.01 plus 10 times 1.01. The molar mass is 58.14, 58.14, uh, is there space for it? No, I'll just write it underneath, 58.14 grams. One mole of C4H10 weighs 58.14 grams. Okay, so now I have, in a way, two conversion factors. I can change grams to moles, this is of C4H10, and then I can change moles into kilojoules. So if I had one gram of butane C4H10, the question is how much heat is, combust, uh, is given off from that? Okay, well, now I have my two conversion factors. Let's use the first one right here. Uh, grams to moles. There's 58.14 grams of C4H10 in one mole of C4H10. And notice I put grams in the denominator, so grams of C4H10 butane will cancel out. Now I have moles of C4H10. Next thing, I'll use that conversion factor there. I'll use that conversion va factor there. And uh, let's see, let's think brighter. I don't know if that works. Okay, maybe it doesn't. Okay, next thing, I'll use the second conversion factor there that two moles of C4H10 gives off 5,314 kilojoules of heat. Again, even though I wrote it up here, where did that come from? From the equation, two moles of C4H10 butane gives off 3,413 kilojoules of heat. Now, not necessary for me to, um, for me to put the negative sign but if you want to, you'll get negative at the end. Notice all these choices are negative. It just means that heat is given off exothermic. Uh, again, moles of C4H10 on numerator, denominator cancel. So what do I have left? I'll have one times one times 5314, all divided by 58.14 and divided by two. What is that in a calculator? I don't know, get a calculator. So uh, what is that? One divided by 58.14 times 53.14 divided by two. And I got 45.7, 45.7 kilojoules. Uh, I know I didn't put the negative sign in, so but obviously B. So one, one gram of butane C4H10 would give off 45.7 kilojoules of heat or 45.7 kilojoules per gram. Same thing. So that's why the answer for that first one was B. Okay, let's do question number seven. Uh, we're not going to do, we're just doing number six and seven. Number seven says, given that calcium oxide, CaO, and water makes calcium hydroxide, CaOH, taken twice. And oops, I think it's a computer thing. That should say delta H. Probably when I printed it, it just didn't. Oh, actually, I just noticed it didn't say delta H. Uh, that's a printer issue. These should say delta H. I just think it's my, um, when I printed it via Google Docs, it was on the screen or whatever. It just didn't come out for whatever reason. Okay, so delta H is negative 64.8 kilojoules per mole. That means 64.8 kilojoules of heat is given off for every one mole of calcium oxide, one mole of water, and one mole calcium hydroxide. Just what happens the coefficients are one, one, one. 
Okay, question. How many grams of calcium oxide must react in order to liberate 525 kilojoules of heat? Okay, so we want 525 kilojoules of heat. The question is, how many grams of calcium oxide? Well, I know from the balance equation that uh, one mole of calcium oxide gives off 64.8 kilojoules of heat. I'll write it, I'll just write it right above. One mole of calcium oxide gives off 64.8 kilojoules of heat. By the way, that's one mole because coefficient one. If there were a two there, that would be two moles of calcium oxide is 64.8 kilojoules of heat. Kind of like in the last problem, two moles of butane is 5,314 kilojoules of heat. This one just so happens to be a coefficient one. So that's why one mole. But if there's some coefficient, other coefficient in front, then it'll be that number of X, whatever it is. Okay, so now I can change kilojoules to moles. Well, that's actually a very important first step. Let's just do that now. Kilojoules to moles uh, of calcium oxide. One mole of calcium oxide is 64.8 kilojoules of heat. Kilojoules and kilojoules cancel out. Oh, don't worry about the negative sign again. The negative just means exothermic. And it does say liberate heat is giving off heat. Just kind of just telling us direction. That's 64.8, that's a dot there. Okay, well, if I wanna know how many moles, I'd be done. But this question is not asking how many moles. The question's how many grams. So I need to change grams into moles. Like the last problem, to change grams and moles or moles to grams, I need to find the molar mass of, in this case, calcium oxide. How much does one mole of calcium oxide weigh? Well, calcium on the periodic table, 40.08. Oxygen on the periodic table, 16. Add that all up, and what's that, 56. I guess I don't need a calculator for that. 56.08 grams. One mole of calcium oxide weighs 56.08 grams. So I know grams to moles. One mole of calcium oxide weighs 50, that's a five, 56.08 grams. And notice moles of calcium oxide, moles of calcium oxide cancels out. So what do we have left? We'll have 525 times 56.08 divided by 64.8. What is that? I don't know. Let me grab my calculator. Let me move this paper up. So that is 525 times 56.08 divided by 64.8. And I got my calculator for, okay, these are probably rounded, uh, 454. Point three. Uh, it's probably because a rounding thing, but 455 grams of calcium oxide. It's just a rounding thing. 454 point something, 455. Okay, so um, these are pretty standard um, thermochemical stoichiometry problems. And that is using stoichiometry and what I do stoichiometry balance equations you might need to know molar mass um, using that as well as heat so this kind of stuff is thermochemical uh, thermochemical stoichiometry problems okay so you'll be watching a bunch of other uh, videos on that but that's our first video